Hey, what's going on? Ah. You've been playing much Jedi Survivor. So much Jedi Survivor, right, Tomato? It's really freeing. Yeah, you guys. You all, now one thing everyone knows about me is that I love Star Wars and the Jedi. I definitely didn't refund that game like an hour after I bought it. I definitely, that's definitely not how that, how that one played out for me. Is insert this game here still an option? Never playing any games ever again, just to be clear. I don't, I don't think I made it clear when I said the other thing. I'm actually done with any game I've ever played before. Uh, just so we can spare ourselves the stress. Dude, I'd cash out so hard if I just fucking switched to labeling my stream intros as just chat and you have no idea. You have no idea how easy it would be. Just open up YouTube and turn on autoplay for a few hours. Yeah, I mean, like, what if I just turned on, like, you know, like, like sensory videos? Like, what if I just turn on, like, baby sensory videos and we just watch keys jingle for, like, a while? Do you think that would fucking, like, make people go crazy? <laughs> Streamer's done it, this streamer did it, that streamer did it. Dude, every fucking joke has been done by someone and then done by The Simpsons 30 years ago. All right, get over yourself. I don't know what to tell you. Family Guy did a one minute long version of that joke. Was it in a cutaway? <laughs> Was it in a cutaway? Cause those things bust me up. Unfortunately, Tomato, that chatter put a kappa so it doesn't exist. What? All right, well, um, I'm cool, that's fine. Uh, we don't have to. It's, it's fine. It's cool. What is a Game Boy at Tomato? Someday when someone asks that, they're gonna mean it, and that'll be that'll be a rough time. We haven't reached the distance yet where I truly would ever believe someone didn't know, but in like another five, ten years, we're gonna start reaching that point where people are just not gonna know. There's a chance. Like there will be a chance. Right now, it's not possible. But eventually, we are gonna get there. And it's closing in. And when it does, we'll finally have to confront the reality of time's passage. Who is the Game Boy? Who are they? Why do we keep talking about them? What are they up to now? Where are they? It's been long enough. Where's the Game Man? Where do they, Where are they? What are they up to now? <laughs> Why did they advance? What did they do to advance? Why can't I advance? What a strange world we live in. So, this is, uh, Endless Dark. It is a game about taking care of a spaceship with no one awake on it except for you, a sad robot. Uh, my only tasks today on my first day on the ship is, uh, use the observation window while strictly forbidden by protocol gazing through the observation window might make you feel a little less lonely. Yeah, the ship is fucking gigantic. Part of it is like locked off, I think, during like the earlier parts of the game, so I can't even go into them. But into the ship is like the ship is like as has thirteen levels huge, except there's there's no one on. I mean, uh, there is no one on the ship. We are alone. Uh, port fire wall, which leads, of course, to the the cryopods. All these humans just sleeping in a row. One human. Nancy Kirby, a dental hygienist. They've been alive for 267 years on this trip. Now, of course, we could, um, well, if I was a naughty little robot, I could go ahead and clear out some of the pods to make it easier to take care of the rest of them, but we're not going to do something like that. But I will tap on the glass. Wake up! It's just like a fun thing we do. Sometimes I'll just tap on the glass and see if any of them are actually awake and, you know... Uh, living through a personal hell trapped inside a cryopod while fully aware of their surroundings. So every day I'm supposed to tap on the glass of all of the pods just to see if anyone responds. No one ever does. Um, I wouldn't really know what to do if someone did respond. Anyways, but, um, we do check. Observation window control module. Function allows shutter, retraction, and engagement for visual observation. Permission protocol MC365. Custodian units are prohibited from retracting observation window. Permission protocol MC17. Observation window locks engaged during dust hazards. Open the window. You hear the floor beneath you shudder as the observation window sheath retracts. Gaze into the endless dark. I gaze. With the shutter disengaged, a thick sheet of glass is now all that separates you from the void. 
Your conformity protocols disable your optical sensors and loop a warning. The window is exclusively for human use. Your programming compels you to turn away. 60% chance something happens to me. I'm gonna gaze into the endless dark. While initially just avoid. You eventually detect energy in the infrared spectrum. After processing this, your emotion circuitry experiences a segmentation fault. To correct this, you activate redundant circuitry. Lose one distance traveled, lock observation for one turn. Are we going in reverse? Fuck, man! Fuck! <laughs> this trip's never gonna end. We're gonna be out here for a thousand years! I'm gonna overclock the reactor. We're already behind. 72%! Actually, that would kill me. Never mind, guys. I, uh, I don't have the kind of power to do that. We're gonna go to sleep. So we have to, we have to get rid of some of our stress. So we're gonna do some repairing. Looks like our jobs today are uh, repair pod one. <sighs> One human status dying and shields dental hygienist. Hang on a second here. <laughs> I'm transporting a bunch of dentists and clowns. Fitness trainer. Holy shit. I'm not even transporting people that are important. I'm trans. I'm a fucking. I'm like a goddamn. I'm a bus. This is. A, we're on a bus. This is just a bus. This is. This is just normal transit. Well, I'm not gonna let you die. All right. We're gonna repair this. It's not a problem. It's gonna reduce my stress anyways. It'll make me happy. Uh. You get a ping from the ship. You get a ping from the ship. You get a ping from the ship. Start to wonder why you care about pings from the ship. Because my programming says so. Because the ship will collapse and I'll die if I don't. I don't care. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> That's relatable as hell. Uh, well, it's because um, my programming says I should. Accepting that you are under a technological gaius to do what is asked of you uh, does not make your quandary any easier. That you are compelled to do these things doesn't resolve the bitter spite you feel toward receiving these constant nettling requests. Who are you and what does your consciousness matter? Why do you matter? Who am I? What am I? Well, uh, there's a leak in the reactor. Spill's been detected. Please clean it before the problem becomes worse. Oh, fuck. Someone pissed all over the floor over here. There's someone on the ship. There's someone on the ship. Just a quick little, uh, tap on the glass. Wait. Did that just say cleaning hazard? I can't take much more of this. Robbie? <laughs> Robbie? Dude, it's actually bad. Re reliability is a measure of how likely Robbie is to perform a given task faithfully. As our reliability drops, Robbie may refuse to perform tasks or perform a completely different task altogether. Wait, what? A completely different task altogether? Dude, I am not in full control of my character. This is like, I am only pretty weak grasp on this character's decision making at the end of the day. <laughs> Hey, uh, forgot about the glitch. Purging cool. Okay, we gotta relax. Um, I was just gonna see if I can still open the UI. We're gonna go ahead and leave now. I don't think Robbie's doing good. Uh, we don't even know how long it's gonna be until we're at our destination because due to gravitational forces, we can't check. We're gonna go ahead and go to sleep now. We've done a good job today. Okay, uh, unit eight is damaged and has to be repaired. Pods are pow- All the pods are powered off? That is not supposed to happen! That's not supposed to happen! Oh! Uh, hang on. Wait! Gamma burst! Some untold time ago predicted that your course would intersect a gamma ray burst rippling through the universe. Unless this is some sort of joke, some star that died millennia ago is about to ruin your whole cycle. Good. Yaw? the ship and watch from observation see it with your own optics yeah i'm about to get crazy <laughs> yeah i'm about to watch it overclock shields lock shields for three turns damage engines damage we are not damaging anything all right we only have two listen okay here's the thing if we dump three passengers like that's still 70 percent still got 70 percent right I'm gonna have- I'm gonna witness. We're gonna witness, chat. I think we're gonna witness. We're gonna take the damage to observation. It's only one damage. This is a rare cosmic event! You orient the ship so the observation deck 
is facing the gamma shower and settle in, eagerly awaiting the start of the show. You wait and wait and wait. The time for the alert has definitely passed already, but you still don't see anything. In a moment of clarity, you realize it. Gamma rays are beyond what humans arrogantly refer to as the visible spectrum. Your optics only see that spectrum. You hurry to the observation deck's telescopes, but it's too late. The deck, the deck has detected the hazardous barrage and the single window groans shut. Oh. I'm cool, guys. I'm cool. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Hey, everyone lived. Everyone lived. Isn't that cool? No music. We'll get to music. We just need to fucking see if I need to fix this. We don't have the energy and it's gonna use all of my shit. We're gonna leave it for now. It's fine. It's just a fucking window. It's just a window. Who cares? Let's listen to some music. We're not supposed to look out that window anyways. You're right. Oof. What's that shadow? What are you talking about? Hello? What? It's time to go to sleep. We need to end our turn. Don't overclock, you fuck! You're going to end your turn. Ah, <sighs> good to see you again, endless dark. I guess to the void to detect absolutely nothing not even the visual spectrum during analysis of this your logic circuit is interrupted by an EMP surge to reroute the calls you temporarily pause processing wait for your cache to flush and retry the ship experiences a breaker surge all breakers open ah oh, that's not good oh back in my fucking room that's gonna use a lot. It's actually gonna get rid of stress. Chat, this is actually good for my stress. Robbie actually really likes fixing things, so this will actually help us burn a lot of stress. All right, fixed up, burned a lot of stress. Okay, well, I'm gonna end my turn. Uh, we're done. The rage burns. You don't know why, but it's hot. So hot you can feel your own processor entering a thermal safety state. Nothing works. Not your charging station, not resting, nothing. The only thing that brings any relief at all is making it pay. The ship is the source of your torment, and it's time you let some of that frustration out. You can't take it anymore. Rage against the machine! Wait, what? Affected by explosive rage. 25% chance to kill a passenger when repairing a pod until you sabotage three systems. This is really bad. I have to sabotage some of the systems on the ship. Fuck me, man. So I have chat, but what's the, what's the, chat, it's only a 25% chance. Okay, it's only a 25 Let's just not have the place get damaged. It's only 25% chance I'll kill someone while I'm repairing their station. You detect faint traces of radiation in the gamma ray spectrum. After processing this, your emotion circuitry encounters corrupt data. To recover it, you activate redundant circuitry. Oh, afflicted by- Oh, good. What's happening? A recent discharge of an old capacitor has jostled the memory bank, temporarily scrambling some of your empathy routines. This has brought you to a moment of clarity. Is life fungible? This has brought... Okay. You have two conflicting mission imperatives in front of you. Oh god, I'm gonna turn them all into NFTs. <laughs> I'm gonna put them all on the blockchain. I should sabotage this. No! Stuff's fine, chat. Here's how we're gonna do it, okay? We are going to play the uh, the RNG game. Here's what we're gonna do. I am going to break two more things and then kill a passenger anyway. I'll f empty out all my bars. Only one person will die instead of a 25% chance of many people dying and it'll be the clown. I mean, if I'm gonna kill someone in one of these pods anyways, I might as well sabotage it first. Caden, the clown. Well, Caden. It's just do be how it do be. Kaden, Kaden, Kaden. I mean, I this is done now. I technically did it. Wait, one more systems or breakers? Oh, that doesn't count as a fucking... Okay, here's what we do. Uh, we'll be back. We're gonna kill Kaden either way. That was always the plan. We're gonna have to break one more thing. And I think we're gonna break... Fuck it. Sabotage basic breaker. Oh! Machines can never die. And no matter how bad you break them, you can always fix them after. 
don't do anything else. I'm gonna go kill whoever's in repair pod two now. Calvin has to die. He's no one. He's just a fucking clown. And now he's dead. Goodbye. Caden Klein. I am sorry it had to be you. We're not even halfway there and you killed somebody. I really hate the fact that you had to bring up something so fucked up as how close we are to our destination. Yeah, I know we're only 8 out of 30 MUs traveled, you fuck. Yeah, I know that. I know it's been- it's gonna be a long fucking trip, okay? No one said it was easy. The reactor access controls have been entirely locked out. Your access codes, rather than greeting you with a friendly ship, emit an ominous warning unauthorized users. Cease access attempts immediately. I must have typed in my password wrong. Let me try that again. The situation has worsened. The reactor once again responds with a curt unauthorized user and more unsettling. You receive a control code from the ship. The rare kind. Shutting down forever if ignored kind. You respond with an affirmation code that you are the custodian and therefore must be allowed to continue, but the response from the ship is an error code. E1171, user privilege ring override. You quickly consult your internal code base and interpret the ship's response to mean, I outrank you. <laughs> okay, ship. All right, let's all relax. Let's fucking relax. What did you just fucking say? Dude, we are behind on time. Like we're, we're behind ship, we need to move. The reactor is unlocked again, but power is once again being leached from it. More concerning is that the ship itself can decide to override your inputs at any time, and you have no idea why. It's time to do what you swore you'd never need to do again. Dig into the service manual for the reactor. The copy in your memory banks is clearly insufficient, either lacking critical information about the correct op codes or otherwise just wrong. Th minus three? Dude, we are not gonna make it to the fucking, dude. We are not making it to Space Florida in time. The people on this ship are gonna be P.O.'d when they wake up in 2,000 years and we're still on the way. Fuck me, man. We are doomed right now. This is bad, bad. Inside the envelope is an incident log. The mission cycle dates back over a century. It seems a previous custodian failed its mission by intentionally sabotaging the reactor. Something intervened and the rogue agent was disposed of. The report concludes. Quite succinctly, defective models. A N N I 1 A R O B B I 1 1 E. Uh, um, do not trust these units. I would never have done such a thing, right? My code would never allow this. Never. That's not me, man. <laughs> I'm gonna settle. I'm gonna go have a word with the reactor. Take control of the reactor at all costs. 40 stress, 22 psychosis. Restore reactor power. Chad, we're behind schedule right now. We uh, we have to catch up on the, uh, the trip. We need to start overclocking, and that means we need extra power. I'm going to show this ship who's boss. This is your ship, and you will not surrender it without a fight. Whatever some previous hunk of junk did is irrelevant. You force your way into the access panel, wire your memory banks directly to the reactor control system and reboot it. The reactor will behave now. Now and forever. Minimap is disabled for two turns is the insanity I got. Fuck me, dude. That's not good. I don't like that. Wait, no! Robbie's... Robbie's smile's gone. It's been a hard day. But we finally got the power back. We're not in a gravitational anomaly anymore. My stress is insane. My stress is insane. I have to t Holy shit, my stress. We have to- Dude, this is bad! Affected by tracking failure. Ongoing chance to lose all calibration and teleport home for five turns. How bad could that be? Dude, I can't- I can't- I actually have to take off the fucking nerve stapling. Because I can't handle the extra- What the- No. It's fine. We just have a little bit of work we have to get done today. We'll do some repairs, we'll fix some things up, we'll be fine. Got power on navigation and we're back on the road. No problem. You gotta stress down bad. Yeah, dude! No, I'm aware I need to stress down bad. No, no, trust me. I do know this. Don't worry, Robbie. You're gonna be fine, Robbie. We're over halfway there, Robbie. What the fuck? I clicked that through by accident, but um, I think I can gather what just happened. Uh, it looks like the lights are out on the ship. 
And I still have a fucking tracking failure, dude. I guess I'm gonna try to repair one more thing and then go to sleep. It says that, well, I'm so stressed out that I can't actually repair and get, like, uh, happiness because of the fatigue as well, so I'm kind of fucked. Tomorrow, I hope I wake up better. And turn. <gasps> the stress! We're gonna be fine. Minus 20 stress, baby. That's just enough to keep me alive. How's the trip? Tracking failure is one of the cruelest jokes. And you know what? It might be time to fucking- Chat, if we don't gaze out into the void and go insane enough to want to flush someone else down the fucking toilet, we're gonna die. So I hate to break it to you, we're about to gaze, alright? At the end of the day, what's gonna fucking happen now is we're gonna gaze into the void and hope it gazes back just long enough for me to snap like a fucking twig and kill some people on this ship. I don't even get any happiness from repairing things anymore, dude. I'm fucked. I'm using him in the right way. What the? <sighs> Open the window. Open the window. We earned this. This might be one of the last times we get to do this. I I'm cool. I'm cool. Everything's cool. I'm gonna gaze. We're gazing. What's happening to me? One psychosis and I gained two machine parts. There are too many doors on this ship. They lead to old rooms or outer space or inner space. They get stuck, they slam. Doors can be dangerous. Who's closing these doors? Why are so many locked? Why do you hear creaking behind some but not others? What happens if you try to open one and you can't? What if you open one and there's something you don't like on the other side? A hundred doors and they all go nowhere. No. No. No! No, but this can't be what happens. Afflicted by entomophobia. 25% chance to gain five stress and run screaming when using doors for three turns. Robbie, my tasks right now is to insert passenger into airlock. So I'm gonna go and do that. Yeah, that's not... I don't really know how to... Oh, fuck. I think I'm just gonna... End my turn and get some stress back. <laughs> yeah, everything's good. We're just gonna have to end my turn and get some stress back. 25% chance. <laughs> we need to play this shit careful, chat. Because at the end of the day, right now I need to accept that if the choices are between opening five doors to get somewhere, or fucking go to sleep for the day. I have to choose go to sleep or the game is over. Okay, we're, oh my God. Repair system replicator, that has to be fixed. We kinda need to get to the replicator. The shortest amount of door opens for that is open. Ah! Dude, this can't, that's two times. No way. Three times in a row, 25% chance, please. All right, huge. I... Okay, shields need to be powered back on again. I'm gonna try to get the shields to turn it on. Fuck me, double doors! <gasps> Power it on. D Robert, what the fuck did you just try to do? You turn on this goddamn machine. Observation has to be repaired. Engine has a stuck door. I'm supposed to insert myself into the airlock today. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna fit that into my schedule. Well, the leaks are getting bad. We have to, oh my God. Don't you fucking dare. You're gonna, you're gonna clean this shit and you're gonna be happy about it. Okay, guys. So there's a dust cloud outside. The observation window doesn't need to be repaired anyways. There's a stuck door. We're trying to save on repair resources anyway, so I think what we do today is we just dismantle a bunch of shit to get more parts. So all of these fucking computers are being torn up, motherfucker. I don't care about them. I'm not going in the fucking airlock. Ignore that. Ignore the task. We're not going in there. Where the hell even are we? Fucking hell, we're still eight turns away, man. Pod nine. Johnson. 
Forcing what? Forcing? Robbie? Robbie, I need you to repair the pod. Robbie. Thanks. I guess the Abyss is the only friend we've ever really had on this trip. Your senses detect a minute amount of... In one turn, trigger an extra random event. Oh, that could be fun. <laughs> that could be really fun. And we should look forward to that. You guys want to listen to the radio? Let's listen to the radio one more time, everyone. Someone will be on it eventually. Time to end turn. An unfriendly blast of static discharge has corrupted some of your ship. Affected by protocol mismatch, the menu is scrambled for five turns. How bad could it be? Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I love the void, dude. Chat, this is it. This is it. We're reaching the end of the line. And if we had done everything right, we would be arriving at home right now. I'm gonna go clean that leak in cryo before I go ahead and die. Did you do this? Did you pee all over the floor, you sicko? You're sick. I think we're about to wake up dead. Oh! Your logic unit powered your ship sensors is on the fritz. It would seem it is receiving ship data, but the processing of it is failing in unexpected ways. When you attempt to query your current stress level, it returns a picture of a farm animal. Good. That's it, man! Game over, man! I got killed by Capchka, dude. I got killed by fucking Capchka. The klaxons are more abrasive than usual as you come online this cycle. Apparently this time they're trying to alert you to an issue with some of the stasis pods. Several of the pods need attention, and all are some terrible, awful, no good, very bad thing that has to do with something that will probably kill a passenger if not attended to right now. Your programming, as always, is telling you that the passengers come first and foremost, so why in the depths of the universe, why did they make themselves such terrible transport pods? Buh. They deserve it. They made these pods. They made this ship. They put me here! They put Robbie here! Due to your incompetence, Vanessa Johnson died at the age of 55. Okay. Chet, we just need to lay it a little longer, Chet, that's all. I can't fucking read this! I can't read this! I don't know what this says! I thought maybe you would give me something! Fabricator's been fucking on the fritz and locking me out for the last four turns! Sometimes when I look at the blue one, it makes a smiley face with a T for a forehead. It makes a T and a smiley face. That's cool. I need to repair this. No, 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 no. We need to repair it. No, no, no. We're going to be okay, chat. There's the, the psycho... Yes, we have a data feed failure, and yes, we have a protocol mismatch, but our fabricator should be making two parts again. Okay, Robbie. We're just going to have you go to sleep, buddy. <laughs> that... You can't fucking do this to me! As your sanity slips, integrity code is failing to execute properly. Today, the code responsible for calibrating your stabilization gyro is malfunctioning. Returning true when it should return false, and false when it should return true. Oh, my controls are reversed. Good. That's navigation fixed. What else was broken? I can't tell. I have to go over here to check. Let me in. Oh, it was one of the pods. Yeah, we're just gonna fucking let them die, I think. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what to say. Okay, I don't know what to say. I don't know what the fuck to do. Unit 10 is damaged. Well, I don't have the pods. I don't have the fucking metal for that. We let this person fucking die. They're gonna die. Because if I do anything that damages the systems, I'm gonna take stress damage. And if I take more stress damage, I'm gonna fucking die. Seven out of 10 is still passing great. That's true. We're going to sleep. We're going to sleep. Oh! 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 After 34 mission cycles, your fantastic journey has ended with passengers still alive and your mind intact. 
It is what it is. You do not need to understand. You only need to accept. What the? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What about all the points for me living? Wait, what about the points where I was winning the game? I won. I made it to the end. Does it not count for anything? That's how it feels to lose. That was me losing the game. Was that whole last four and a half hours. Fucking four turns over par. See if you can get a score higher than zero. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, that was great shit. This game's really fucking cool. And I'm pretty sure I only saw like a fucking like fourth of like the actual bulk of the game. Okay, bye.